Hi guys, this is Jamie. Um, I found this book at the thrift store and um, it had a front and back cover, but they're both the same. So I took it apart and what I thought I would do is make two journals out of these covers. Um, so I thought I'd bring you along with me and show you how I'm going to make the back cover for the journals. So I have this um, postage box, an old postage box that I'm gonna use, priority mail um, mailer. So all I did was I traced around this, in my in frame here, I traced around the cover and I'm going to cut that out. So, I'm going to use my ruler and a utility knife and try to get a straight cut. This is a new blade in here, so it should be good and sharp. And hopefully I don't cut myself. <clears throat> so there I got that cut and then I'm going to put a layer on this side and a layer on this side of cardstock so it should be um, really sturdy so let me pause you and I'll go get that. Okay, so I went and got this. Uh, it's really heavy cardstock. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to glue that onto here. And then I'll cut off the excess. So I'm going to use my aliens. Um... I'm not going to make you watch me do the gluing because <laughs> that's kind of boring. So there I got the glue on and I went very close to the edge because I'm not going to be able to sew this because it will be too thick. So I'm just going to glue that onto the cardstock. And it's okay if the glue oozes out. Just gonna do that because I put a lot on the edges. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna get my brayer and I'll be right back. Okay, I got my little brayer tool and I'm just gonna roll over the whole surface of this cardboard. And it doesn't matter if I get marks on it because I'll be covering the back with some pattern paper, cardstock, or um, something with a pattern on it. I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out. So there. I just want to ensure that I got this glued down really good. I 
All right. So what I'm going to do next is I don't know if I want to cut with my scissors. Let's try. Let's try and see how, how it goes. I'll just cut the excess of this cardstock off. Trying to get as close to the cardboard as you can without cutting it. Without cutting the cardboard, I mean. Going all right so far. Okay, so we get that side done. Now I'm going to put some glue on this side and um, glue it to the other piece of cardstock that I have out. And I'll be right back when I've got that done. Okay, so I got that all done. This is what it looks like. I think I already showed you that because I had you on pause and I forgot what I had done. <laughs> But um, that's what it looks like. It's nice and sturdy. And we're also, also going to do a spine. And I'm going to do it in the same fashion that I did the back book cover. So I'm going to do a two inch spine for this book. So I will do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I got the spine all done. This is what it looks like. It doesn't look the greatest on the edge, but that's going to be covered. So, yeah, let's see what it will look like. Yeah. The front cover is still probably, I want to say, a millimeter thicker than this, uh, Board that I've made but it's going to be nice and thick the glue is going to help it thicken up to or be sturdy I guess but uh, yeah I think it's going to look very nice but uh, yeah um, the next step will be covering this and the inside of this so let me get my bearings and I'll be back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this back piece, I'm going to cover it with this because I think it matches well with the cover. Um, yeah, so I'm going to glue that on. Turn it over like that, and we are going to put some glue on. So anyway, I'm going to cover this with glue, and I'll be back when I'm done. I'm not going to torture you with that. <laughs> All right, I got the glue on. So now what I'm gonna do is just glue this on, leaving a border so that I can um, fold it over. Alright, so 
I'm going to uh, notch the corners. That way I can uh, just fold them over and glue it. So there's what our little back cover looks like. So I'll find a piece to go inside of here and inside the front cover. Okay, so I have a piece cut out for the back cover and the front cover. I had to go a little bit bigger on the front cover. And I think I did it all right. Yeah. I might have to trim that down just a smidge. But, uh, so I'm going to glue them on. And I will be right back once I get them glued on. Okay, so now what I have to do is I'm going to turn them over and put my fabric on. Um, this will take some time because I want to make sure that I get it straight. and leave a little gap in between so it can bend this has got a little bend in it so hoping I have that straight all right so here goes nothing and I'm afraid that I'm going to be covering some of the A on here um, all of a kind family which is kind of sad, but in order to do this, that's what's going to happen. So I hope I'm in film. I hope I'm in frame. Okay, you guys, you guys can see that. Oh, yikes. This part always makes me nervous because... It mean you know, it means getting your book straight or not. <laughs> and 
And is the glue going to show through the fabric? It probably will. I might have to do something to the spine, so that doesn't make me too, too nervous, but All right, here goes nothing. <clears throat> so, this is what we're going to do. What's that? Yeah, I am. You can talk to me. I'll probably do a voiceover. So yes, the glue is going through, but that's okay. We can cover that. Glass, glass putty. It is. Yeah. You make that? No. You bought it? Yeah. It's sticky. It won't shatter or anything. Hmm. So then we'll turn the book over. I didn't rip my fabric even. But that's all right. We're not going for perfection here, I guess.
there's that part. And, uh, yeah, I got it a little messy. So, I'm, what I'm going to do is leave this as part one. And I'll come back with part two, um, showing you the rest of what I do. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Bye.